So Instagram and Facebook are tracking pretty much everything you do, you know, like the stuff you look at, the stuff you click on, your passwords that you enter, you know, your credit card, inform you do everything, you know, because it's all such nice information. Uh, so <laughs> this is a pretty interesting story that has uh, kind of freaked out uh, some people, but if you are in the tech space, uh, you probably assume that this sort of stuff is going on, you know, so this this kind of means nothing to me personally, but uh, this is pretty interesting. So a researcher specifically found this for the iOS versions of the apps, which is a pretty big deal because of Apple's app tracking transparency feature, which is supposed to make it known to users if apps are indeed, you know, collecting your data, tracking you, that sort of stuff. But the way Instagram and Facebook get around this, you know, it's actually like very simple, but you know, it, it works really well. So if you click on like an ad or something, they will usually open up the browser, but not your like app browser that you have on your phone. They'll open up their in-app browser. And what they do at that point is they just inject some JavaScript code that is then able to pretty much track everything, you know, the sort of information you enter, what like ads you then click on, what like anything that you click on, pretty much everything that you do from that point onward, which, you know, is obviously uh, very creepy and might freak some people out. But I mean, again, if you're in the tech space, you probably assume this stuff goes on anyways. Uh, <laughs> so Meta responded, uh, you know, like, hey, uh, we're not collecting any sensitive information, though. So it's like fine, which means absolutely nothing to me, you know, uh, this is just the new way of doing things. For in, for instance, you know, Matta has been a big, big, big advocate against this app tracking transparency feature that Apple implemented. So this is just, you know, this was just their plan B, I guess, to just get around that. So the moral of the story is don't trust big tech companies like Meta, which has Facebook and Instagram, you know, and uh, how to get around this thing specifically, uh, use your uh, app, your, your browser app on your phone. Don't use the in-app browser, you know, not for just Instagram and Facebook, but, you know, don't use it. Don't use in-app browsers in general.